Kawan was sitting at rest when it was hit from the rear by Katu of identical mass. Both cars had their brakes on and they skidded together 6 meters in the original direction of motion. The stopping force is 0.7 times combined weight of the cars, that is mu, which is the coefficient of friction, is 0.7. Find the approximate speed of car 2 just before the collision. So you have got this second car, it is moving. It hits this car which is at rest. And then just at the point of being hit, they are now stuck. They start moving together. So when they are stuck at this point, I will say they have got an initial velocity. There are two of them together. They've got an initial velocity. And as they start to move, after covering a distance of 6 meters, their velocity is now 0. They stop. And so we know net force is given by the applied force minus any frictional force. And so in this case, net force again by mass times acceleration. Their brakes were on, so there was no applied force. And then frictional force is given by mu, which is the coefficient of friction, times the normal force. And so the mass, they've told us that the two cars had identical masses. So mass 1 was equal to mass 2. M1 is equal to M2. So that is going to be M plus M. So their combined mass is going to be 2m. So where there is mass, I'm going to put 2m times acceleration. That will be equal to negative mu. Well, normal force is given by mass times acceleration. And the mass is the mass of the two of them is 2m times okay, that is normal force is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Mg. That is because the normal force is equal to the weight force. And weight is given by mass times gravity. So gravity G. Notice that the 2M and the 2M they are cancels. And so acceleration will just be equal to negative mu. They have given as 0 0.7. G is 9.8. And so the acceleration is going to be equal to 0 0.7 multiplied by 9.8. And that is negative 6.86 meters per second squared. This is the acceleration at which they were moving, so they were retarding. Now we've been given a distance and we know that finally they reached at a velocity of zero. What will be the initial velocity u? So v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 a s. Final velocity is zero, the initial is what we don't know. Then plus 2, the acceleration is negative 6.86 and then the distance they covered is 6. So that will give us mu squared is equal to 2 multiplied by 6.86 multiplied by 6. That will be 82.32. It's going to be positive because this value is negative. When it goes the other side, it becomes positive. And then to find u, we are going to square root both sides. That is going to give us about 9.073 meters per second. So this is the velocity at which both of them were moving initially at the beginning when the second car hit the first car. Now we want to find the velocity at which the first car was moving. Okay? The first car was moving just before the collision, just at the point before impact. So we are going to use the momentum equation to find that and we know that m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2. Well, m1 u1 is going to be 0 because this was initially at rest. And then the velocity at which this one was moving so that it hit the car just at that point when it hit the car that's the one we are looking for. So we are just going to say M. And then we say U2. Because the masses are the same. And this should be equal to well, The masses here are the same. So that will be what? 2M. M plus M. That will be 2M. And then they moved at the same velocity. 2. And then that will be M. V. Since the velocities are the same. So that will just be mv plus mv and the masses are the same so mv plus mv that will be 2mv 
Now, this same velocity which acted as the initial velocity before the cars had to stop was the final velocity when these had to strike each other. So at the very point, just before, before impact, these were moving at different velocities. Okay, but at impact, just at the point of impact, we want to look for the speed before impact, after impact, at the point of impact, they started moving at this initial velocity at the time of impact. And so this is the final velocity in this kind of motion, this side, before impact. But after impact, this side, it becomes the initial, the same one which was the final becomes the initial. And so that will be M. We can see that the M's are going to cancel, so this will cancel. So we are saying that U2 is going to be just 2 times V. So the velocity at which the first car was moving, before impact it was 2 times 9.073. And U2 is going to be equal to, if we multiply that by 2, it's going to give us 18.14 meters per second. So this is the velocity at which it was moving and after it hit the other car, the other car also gained some velocity so that they started moving now at the same velocity, this one. And then after a certain distance, now they had to stop moving.